guys, thanks for returning. Uh, today we're just gonna do another video log. Uh, we're, uh, we're gonna take a look at Gen Con 50's website today. Uh, today they're opening up the event catalog and that's something we can navigate together a little bit to see what kind of games to expect. I won't go through the whole website, but I am excited to see what they have to offer. So, also, uh, update is that we're gonna change the name. Uh, the votes are in. There wasn't a whole lot of votes, but uh, looks like the tally is for Christian Adventure Gamer. That's what the series is gonna be called. So, let's look forward to that. So let's take a look. All right. So now the find events tag is up. And so we can just go by day and see if what's open on Wednesday for trade day. As you can see here, there's a bunch of things to register for. It talks about the different times. Let's go back. Oops. Click on find event again, it'll be the faster way to do it. Uh, day, hour. I just like to see what's going from day to day to day. Uh, you can see on Thursday that there is uh, 400 and, or 4,494 events. So let's take a look and see what they got to offer first thing in the morning. One hour until Inferno. Heroes Unlimited. These are all starting at 11 a.m. Thursday morning. There should be more. It looks like they're alphabetized. Yeah, so let's see if there is a... Before there was... um. What do you call it? Uh, There's a they they used a different system to do their event page, and I wonder if I still have that in my books, my uh, bookmarks. There we go. Browse by event type. Okay. Uh, and so I'll put the link below so you guys can see the different events, and I'll click on board games, and hopefully that takes me to the. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, it tells me all the events that are coming up. And this starts on Wednesday, 10 a.m. It goes into Thursday, 8 a.m. So right here we can see at Thursday, 8 a.m. They have Betrayal House on Haunted Hill, Elder Signs, uh, Castle of Mad Ludwig. And again, like I said, I will go ahead and put the link for the traditional um, event list because it's just so much easier to see what's coming instead of have to go to each number or each letter and look for games with those titles. You can just go see the whole list. Um, I prefer to use this one, uh, like I said, just because I can see everything in the time slot and when I want to uh, schedule my games, I can see them better. And so I can go to game system or event type again, so I'll click on event type and I'll look at role playing games. Mm, let's see here. There's a true dungeon. That's something you guys should definitely check out. If you don't play, just go into the area where they have for Dungeon. You definitely like that. So role playing. So let's see here. Thursday, 8 a.m. Harry Potter and the Blood Oath Year One. Ooh, a Harry Potter RPG game. Who's looking? Who's interested in that? So I'm gonna open that up, and it should tell me all the stuff about it. Hogwarts is invaded. Do 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 do. Okay. Uh, players taking the roles of famous Hogwarts students. Uh huh. And game system is ubiquity. A rules edition, first edition, minimum number of players, maximum number of players. You have to be at least 13 and up to play. Obviously, they're going to teach the rules. A lot of times, you have to bring your own materials. And it says, yes, materials are provided for the game. You do not need to bring any of your own. But a lot of the other games do require that you bring pencil and paper. And it's a $4 cost. So that's definitely something I might be interested in checking out. Uh, let's see here if there's any Dungeons and Dragons, right? There's 5th edition, Introduction to Adventure, Season 7 Preview. Let's see what they say here. Have a very paranoid Christmas. Hmm. Sounds interesting. So here is a Baldwin Games LLC. This is the company that normally hosts all the Dungeons and Dragons since Wizards of the Coast normally does not come to Gen Con anymore. They haven't went for the last two or three years. Uh, max number of players, 48. So they're going to have multiple tables set up. Minimum number of players, 3. Two hours of play, four dollars a cost. I know this is not a tournament, and you can email 
on, or view the website of the, of those people, the Baldwin Games LLC. So let's keep going. Rogue Trader. Open early opening. Oh, we got a lot of interesting stuff here. Clue versus zombies. Mm. So I'm just gonna go back because obviously you can go through all of this, and I, like I said, I'll put that that link below. Uh, so I'll go back into game system. Oh, sorry, I meant event type, and I'll click on board game, and then I can do a search. So I'm gonna look up uh, Age Wars. Just see, I doubt because normally they're they're pretty late on getting them. Let's do it here. there. Check out another thing with the word mage or war is going to be in here. So let's do descent. See if there's going to be... Oh look right there. Descent journeys in the dark. Thursday 2 p.m. Uh, Council of Lorien. So this is not being held by FFG, Fantasy Flight Games. This is just by another a uh, group of people are going to be doing this. Looks like they're going to have multiple setups of it going on. And then, let me think of another one. Um, Hero Quest. Let's see what, oops. There it is, Hero Quest there. I'll go ahead and put an O to redefine it a little bit. So, Thursday 8 a.m., four hours. Hero Quest. Let's see if there's another Hero Quest. Uh, Thursday at 1 p.m. Four hours right there. Look at that. Uh, Super Dungeon Explorer Hero Training. I wonder if this is being held by uh, Soda Pop Miniatures. Oh, Ninja Division. Right there. Yep. They are uh, Soda Pop Miniatures now. Or, you know, Soda Pop Miniatures are Ninja Division now. Uh, looks like they're going to be teaching people how to play the game in multiple setups. Nice. All right. Let's see what else. Uh, my daughter likes to play my little pony card game. Well, more publishers will uh, create events as time gets closer to Gen Con, so it's not like everything is here. But this is where you can actually start planning. So, what is one more I can think of? How about Magic the Gathering? This is probably looking at board games, and so if I want card games, I have to go to Event Type uh, and look up right there. And let's see if I put in my little one. Let's see what those Nope. Back to Event Type, card games. Let's try that now. Nope, so let's try magic together. Ah, there we go. Look at all the magic the gathering they have. They got a whole day. I don't think we have hero clicks this year. They didn't last year. Oops, maybe I have to go back to board game. Let's look at Dice Master and see what it says. So WizKids was not at Gen Con last year, so it looks like they might not be there this year. But let's look up one more. Battle Star Galactica. That's my brother's favorite game, so let's see if they have it there. I'm not seeing it. Harry Potter, Hogwarts Battle. Yeah, 
just not seen it. So maybe Fantasy Flight hasn't been up there yet. So let's look up Gaming Group. Uh, it should tell me if Fantasy Flight is coming. <sighs> Fantasy Flight Games. So this should tell me everything they're doing. Arkham, Secrets of the Past. It appears that they're not doing uh, Battlestar Galactica this year. They're doing uh, Rune Wars Miniatures Tournament. So yeah, look at all that. And so again, like I can go to Gaming Group and I can look up for Arcane Wonders. They're the ones that do Mage Wars and see if they're... So yep, there's Arcane Wonders right there. Click on that. Well, look, they do have Mage Wars. Okay, so it was under something else. So there's tournament preparation, so I'm interested in that, so I'm going to open that up. So run the tournament judges and spell book building, tactics, talk, and open play. Learn how to play and prepare for the championship tournament. Nice. Good. Alright. And so we can just keep going through the list. I mean, I guess that's it. That's all the major wars they have. So the tournament is on Friday at 10 a.m. Uh, and then the finals are 11 a.m. Saturday morning. And you get an entry if you win in the tournament. So definitely something I'm interested in. But it's an eight-hour tournament. Oof. I hate to be stuck doing that all day. So let's uh, look and see what other gaming groups are here. Asmodee. I'll just open that up another another view screen. Another window. Splendor head to head tournament. Hmm, that might be something that might be interesting. Huh. Definitely definitely something worth taking a look at. But obviously that's how I navigate through Gen Con. Uh, I'll mean I go to that link. And then I go to either the event time, game system, or the gaming group and see what is available. So, uh, again, if you like what you're hearing and like what you're seeing, please like and share. If you want to be a part of this channel, please subscribe. Thank you and have a wonderful day.